Mr. Thompson here. We're looking at U.S. History Standard 11, examining the connections between the rise of big business, the growth of labor unions, and technological innovations. In particular, we're looking at Part A of that standard, explain the effects of railroads on other industries, including steel and oil. A period of technological innovation emerged after the Civil War and transformed American society with wide-ranging innovation. However, it was the railroad industry that impacted the economy like no other. Railroad construction dramatically increased following the Civil War. In fact, the United States went from having 35,000 miles of track in 1865 to over 193,000 miles by 1900. Railroads connected vast regions of the United States and allowed for the efficient transport of goods. The geographic connections that railroads allowed created a national market. No longer were goods and products regional. Instead, mass production and distribution of items created larger corporations and enormous profits. The steel industry made possible the expansion of the railroads given that the tracks are made of steel. The railroad companies were the biggest customers of the steel industry because they needed to lay thousands of miles of steel track to connect all areas of the U.S. To supply their biggest customers, steel producers uh, develop cheap, efficient methods for mass production of steel rails. These low-cost methods enabled more industries beyond just the railroads to be able to afford the steel company's products. Large steel corporations, such as Carnegie Steel, produced more steel than any other company in the world. Oil production in the late 19th century was also linked to the growing railroad industry of the period. Drilling for oil in remote areas meant that the product had to be transported east uh, for consumption as a fuel supply. The railroads made the transport possible from pipelines to the market. Oil companies such as Standard Oil and railroads that transported the oil both made vast fortunes during the period. Other industries were also impacted by the expansion of the railroads. For example, the Pullman sleeping car was developed for the comfort of long distance travelers. These cars needed glass for windows, cloth for seats, wood for the car construction, bedding for the sleepers, and a number of other small fittings to hold the car together. To increase train safety, signal systems were developed, better braking systems were invented, and the national time zones were created out of necessity. All of these components were driven by the production to support the railroad industry. The railroads, as the single largest business in the U.S. in the late 19th century, also changed the way businesses were organized. Significant capital investment was needed to create and maintain a nationwide business. This capital was acquired through both public, so government subsidies to railroads, and private business investments. Large, professionally trained managerial staffs were needed to keep up with the passengers, cargo, and equipment. It became necessary for new means of accounting to track the large quantities needed 
for the railroads to be efficient, cost-effective, and profitable. Internal organization in turn led to the consolidation of many railroads. This was especially true when economic panic caused less profitable lines to collapse and be absorbed by larger, more profitable firms.